is guiding halo here this is going to be what spirit wants you to know for the week of the 28th of march to the 4th of april what's happening for my leo friends message from spirit unicorn infinite possibilities you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds the magic of love surrounds you beauty transform you listen to the spirits of light abandon the darkness go beyond the ordinary and become legendary so whatever that means to you but we will pull more cards we will pull more cards on that on a side note let's see what spirit has for you in a different way how is he pointing you in this direction there's absolute transformation of foot about the possibilities in life that are coming to you right here again we get right need to write something down you need to write your thoughts out on paper someone's got a monkey mind going on here it's very sharp energy what i feel it's like needing to write something with pencil so it can be erased because if i make a mistake love so you need to make something right in a love life love situation or write about it pull more cards find out what's up here tell me about this right card please tell me about this right card writing the story of your life i think you're sitting there weighing the pros and cons about how did i write this into existence in my life this is not what i wanted but somehow it's what's happened obstacles or detours in the right direction so you had a different plan something you were writing for your life and an obstacle has happened to put you in a det on a detour in the right direction perhaps something has gone askew or amiss Hmm, that's interesting. My vibes speak louder than my words. So something where love is concerned, the love of the universe, the love of the divine, the love for another, your vibes are speaking louder than your words. You might be saying everything's okay, but the pain or whatever that's coming through you, the love, the pain, the whichever that's coming through you, is going to, there's going, like people feel it. They feel it around you. If you feel like you're on the way out of something, people around you feel that, regardless of if you try and hide it. If you feel like you're doing well and you're on the way into something, there's some sort of obstacle or detour that's coming to put you in the right direction. Nonetheless, people feel your energy and what's going on. It's not something that you can hide by love or that's what i'm getting you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds the magic of love surrounds you beauty transform you listen to the spirits of light abandon the darkness go beyond the ordinary and become legendary ownership you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. So there's something here that you may have stepped into that you felt is a wise choice, or it was a wise choice, but now maybe you're having second thoughts. There's something you may want to write about or to put out there and an obstacle has happened, but it's for the right contract to come your way, for the right decision, uh, there's some direction you were headed in the wrong something with a union perhaps you have seen and unseen allies draw upon their strength join forces with friends and flourish feeling like you not might not have what it takes in order to go it alone so they're saying don't don't go it alone this is an obstacle to put you in the right direction there's some sort of union or something that had gone askew or askew or askew it's not about staying with a bad situation, don't get me wrong, but it's about understanding that there's more people that love you and will help you than is sitting right in front of your face at the moment. Your friends would be more, way more understanding than you could imagine. Perhaps you need to write about an obstacle that's happened in your life in your union so that you can help others grow from it. There's got to be infinite possibilities. It's not one or the other. Ownership, acknowledging what you've done wrong and what you've done right and learning them as lessons and moving forward with that. 
pilgrimage. You're on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose your path. It's hard, right? It's hard and it's lonely. If only you can choose your path, it feels very lonely and it puts a lot of huge weight on a person. The problem is, is your vibes are already speaking louder than your words. So how do I go about things? Understand that you can change your mind at any given time, any given time, and other things happen in order to change your mind at any given time. I think the beauty and the union and the flow with the divine is that you can really, really tap into what needs to happen next by losing resistance. It's not about deciding a yay or a nay. It's about finding a way through sometimes. Sometimes it is about a yay or a nay. Take it as it resonates. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping teaching or parenting children. This has been coming up quite a bit lately. There's some sort of beauty that you have regarding children or something. And I believe there's a message. If you've lost a mother or a mother figure, uh, there's a message from them from heaven that they're watching over you. Don't worry about them. Ah, don't worry about what they would think. There's some sort of energy about that. There are infinite possibilities to the end goal. Whatever's happened as an obstacle doesn't mean it has to break the union. Love can still prevail. You're on a pilgrimage to find your own soul. And I believe it's about healing your inner child. Once you do that, you have the ability to help other people heal their inner child, which makes sense as to why you have a gift for working with children here. Spiritual children, perhaps even helping those heal from the loss of children. Tell me about this child card. Five of Swords, feeling like there's been some sort of manipulation around your children, trying to make the decisions, but stuck between heartbreak, stuck between how do I manage this? What do I do? Someone, yes, okay, I get that. Someone has told you that you're not very good with children. Someone has told you that you are maybe made you feel like not a great person because of how you deal with children. I'm not sure how that is, but take it how it resonates. There's some sort of manipulation that's been going on. Perhaps someone is using the idea of children to manipulate you to stay or to not make a decision. Oh, but think of your family. Seven of Pentacles, taking some time to decide where you want to invest is wise. It's not like everything has to end now or decisions need to be made right now. Although during that time, you may feel like your own indecision is stabbing you. Besides the point. Seven of Pentacles, looking at where you want to invest your time. Temperance, there could be a Sagittarius coming around that's really going to help you during this heartbreak, during this sadness. There's something about this, but there is infinite possibility Things that you didn't believe would ever happen. It's almost like you've got to let go of an idea of people, places, and things in order to have this new infinite possibility. Tell me about this union and right and obstacles are merely in the right direction. Ace of Swords is some sort of truth that needs to be faced here. It's a challenging, challenging beginning very challenging. It's like a double-edged sword. Well, if I move this way, that's great, but then my heart hurts. And if I move this way, well, that's great, but my heart still hurts. You can't escape the pain a lot of times, but you can have help and freedom moving forward. Queen of Wands, well, there's your energy, standing loud and proud, being very big-hearted. Someone knows that, that you, you're on a journey to self-love unlike any other there's some sort of freedom that you need or want, desire. It's almost like permission. Are you waiting for permission from somebody to step into your heart space? You have psychic insights about what's going on. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, Sag energy, and Virgo energy. 
Well, this, this I'm just kind of keeping pulling cards. You're wondering if the truth is you should go it alone, but taking the time to decide what to do. Wondering if you're going to be manipulated where children are concerned. Trying to figure out the possibilities. Trying to find balance in your emotions. Trying to decide whether you should create healing or not. Trying to have psychic insights about what it is you want to manifest in X. You're a powerful creator. You know that your thoughts and your, your mood and your everything else creates the new absolutely at the end of a cycle and it's time to get into joy i would say some of you might be ending a cycle due to a third party situation you need to hang out with your friends you need to have more fun and i believe that that's exactly what this cycle ending is going to bring you it's not going to be easy getting there i actually feel the the sadness it's almost like something something that you were writing as a story in your life there was an obstacle and it changed things and it moved things forward and I almost feel as though something's going to come back around. Oh, look at that and I have the King of Wands. Your perfect match. Was there a perfect match that ran by the wayside? Mm -hmm. Really hurt your heart? It was just at the time, felt left out in the cold. In some sort of way it was their wish granted but it broke you made you very wise something you need to write about here could bring you a lot of money writing could bring you a lot of money i'm going to pull you guys a postcard from spirit i forgot to do it initially so i decided i wouldn't but i just feel the need you have two dear you there is balance between activity rest and rest ebb and flow you can't have one without the other if you are faced with an obstacle right now the best course is surrender and non-resistance. Soon enough, you'll see how easy it is to flow around it. Now is one of those times when you must trust the river of your life. Go with the flow and in no time you'll reach what you have your heart and hopes set on. Just remember, spirit will always keep your head above water and will direct the currents. When it's time for a greater effort, you'll know exactly when you'll need to work those manifesting muscles. It can challenge the master or it can be challenging to master the flow cycles of your life. But as you develop your skills, affluence will be yours. Enjoy the flow and trust those currents, for we're right here with you with our little umbrella drinks, smiling at your success. Dearest you, we here on the other side have one important thing to declare. Love is the answer to literally everything. We don't necessarily mean romantic or erotic love, although they are wonderful, but something above and beyond that. Everything alive in the world was first created by love. Spirit sends love to animate life and birth it into existence. Love is without conditions, and it is based in reverence and a fierce and joyful respect for life. Love thrives when you focus on it, and we want you to turn away from anything that causes it to wane. Love is when you no longer see yourself as other, separate from, better or less than, etc. When you act as love, you give permission to the world to thrive and grow as it will. You can let go of what is not love and ask, what would love do? Love is waiting for you, always and forever. We just adore you over here. How beautiful is that? As I have Leo and Venus, and this all makes me want to cry. I love you guys. Blessings to you.